Wolves nil, Huddersfield Town 2. Uh, first of all, before I go into any detail about Wolves, I think Huddersfield uh, were very, very good today. I think we underestimated them completely as fans and the team and the staff at uh, Wolves. I think that they showed a lot more fight and a lot more desire than we did and it reflected in the result today. I think that we have to look at ourselves today. I think there's quite a lot of similarities to be drawn from the Watford game um, as far as we are concerned. Uh, straight after an international break, I think we came back with a lot of arrogance, a lot of, uh, it was clear that we hadn't been training together for the last two weeks, there was a lot of misplaced passes, loose control, trying to do things on the first touch as well, which we've seen doesn't work regularly, uh, really, really disappointing performance in the, in the first half, particularly from Ivan Cavallero, who was hooked off at half-time, and uh, I thought Jean Moutinho as well was rightly taken off. I thought, but not necessarily it was his fault because of his bad performance. Um, but I did notice that a lot of the time that he was getting receiving the ball, he was facing his own goal, which obviously, as a centre midfielder and somebody who was trying to create things, facing your own own goal is not use not very useful. But the reason that that was happening was because we were being crowded out in midfield again, which we've seen happen again in that Watford game. But Spurs did it. Lots of other teams are working us out now, and I think that's something that I mentioned a few weeks ago about changing from five at the back or three at the back and having that extra man in midfield because we've been sussed out now. And Nuno has had this uh, mantra of, "Well, we are we going to stay the same? We're going to carry on playing the same way? We can still have those same philosophies, but I just feel like we need we need another body in midfield, a big powerhouse of a player like Dendonka, and just somebody who can link the defence in the midfield a little bit better. Because at the moment we're really lacking in that in that cohesion between the those two phases of play. Um, and I feel like somebody like Dendonka and perhaps I don't know Bennett, I suppose, would come out. Um, but Bolly today was atrocious. I think the worst performance he's ever had in a Wolf shirt. I don't know whether it might have been perhaps because he had a little knock in the first half. He went down holding his shoulder and he maybe he was playing through the pain barrier a little bit. But some really, really terrible mistakes from him. Um, letting in uh, Huddersfield on a number of occasions. Patricio, he, I don't think he had a particularly good game. Again, he didn't have a lot to do. But you have to look at him for that second goal. I haven't had the opportunity to look at it again. But from the angle that the free kick is taken and where the wall is positioned, he's either made a mistake with the wall or he's made a mistake with his posi position to be being at that near post from a free kick is very, very uh, disappointing there. Neves, I thought, had a poor game as well. I've seen a few times when he doesn't play well, <clears throat> then the team doesn't play well. Uh, I think he was crowded out a lot in midfield. People are saying about how he, he, his mind's already set and he's leaving in um, in January. I don't think that's the case, and if I was a top team watching him today, I wouldn't be wanting to sign him anyway, because if he can't do it against Huddersfield, how's he going to be able to do it against Real Madrid or Juventus or Barcelona? So I wouldn't go, I wouldn't, I'm not concerned about Neves at the moment, but he needs to have a look at himself, and he needs to, to sharpen up a little bit. The front three, Costa didn't do as well as he did last week, I thought, we've seen now with Costa, he turns up to the big games, and he's amazing, doesn't come for those teams that are not in the top six. Uh, really poor performance from him today as well, and he was taken off. Traore, when he came on, was an absolute embarrassment. Um, really, really, I'm quite t tired of it now, because I heard a lot of mumblings from people at the Arsenal game saying that if he didn't have any pace, he wouldn't be a footballer. I, I do agree with that. I think he had a lot of chances before, uh, at, the, at the end of the Arsenal game, which he should have made something happen. But then today, he had a full half, and he was, for somebody who must weigh 14 stone plus, and he built, you know, very, very uh, robust sort of stature, he's knocked over so easily, it is embarrassing to watch, and he really, really needs to look at himself. Just that, just that part of his game is what frustrates me the most, is that when he picks up the ball and a defender comes by him, he'll be on the floor seconds later, and that's really... Embarrassing for a player we've paid £18 million for him. We've had one goal from him. No assists, I don't think, yet. No real creativity. He doesn't seem to know what is happening with the ball when other players have got it. He doesn't seem to know what he's going to do with the ball when he's got it. And he's got to sort, sort it out because at the moment, 
he's not an eighteen million pound player. I wouldn't even be paying one million pounds for him. I think he's he's been very very poor in the last couple of games. Um, but let's try and look at a few positives. I thought Ruben Vinagre uh, playing the whole ninety minutes on at left back did very very well uh, and took the ball forward very comfortably. I think a few times he showed his naivety in defence. That's been spoken about quite a lot anyway, about um, how he do, he's a more of an attacking player. We've seen him being brought on, in fact, uh, at West Ham away as a, an attacking option. But he was able to get past players and make things happen as well. So I was really pleased with him. And I'm, I'm qu quite happy with him to be playing now for the foreseeable future where, while Johnny is out. Um, I think we might... Perhaps I think when we're coming up against Hazard in a couple of weeks and um, the Son from uh, Tottenham, I think we might see him struggle a little bit in those games defensively. But I think in the next few games he should be okay. Um, and Morgan Gibbs White again, superb performance from him uh, in the second half. He looks so composed on the ball for such a young player as well in the Premier League in a big game. Uh, and I think I would lo love to see him start a game. I don't know whether it'd be Matinho or Neves to drop out, but I think either one of them at the moment has got to be looking over their shoulder because Gibbs White is performing when he comes onto the pitch and those two at the moment are not performing to their full capabilities uh, at the moment. Um, and just overall, I think we've got to start looking over our shoulders a little bit now. Although we're eight points above the relegation zone, I think the next two fixtures are massive now. Cardiff away and Newcastle away. I know that there's Chelsea in between as well, but those two games in particular... If we can get six points out of those, then there's no problem at all. But if we start to lose those games as well, then the serious question is going to be asked about uh, the future. But yeah, I'm sure there'll be a lot of uh, reviewing of the game by the Wolves team and the Wolves staff today uh, and in the next few days. But hopefully they can right those wrongs. But we need to... D I know that people are going to say, well, we had a lot of players going out for international duty, but so do... It lots of the teams in the Premier League and we need to adapt to that and we need to improve because every time we've come back from an international break we haven't particularly done we haven't done particularly well. Let me know your thoughts about today's game in the comment section down below. Uh, sorry for being so negative but I think it was needed today. I think today is definitely the worst game that we've seen under Nuno. But we trust him to get it, get him get us sorted out but I would like to see more in midfield, less in defence please if you're watching Nuno, I know you do. But yeah, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.